Bom dia, good afternoon, good evening, wherever you are in this beautiful world, whenever you're watching this video, welcome to the Bitcoin Family YouTube channel for the newcomers. My name is Didi Tahutu, and yes, I am the guy that with his family sold literally everything he owned four years ago, started traveling the world, now coming to you guys from Lagos in Portugal. While I'm witnessing this amazing sunrise, you can witness it as well. I need to push, push this button, bam, and then its screen turns around. Beautiful, isn't it? I got up really early this morning because I need to start to do some sports. In today's video, of course, sharing some really cool Bitcoin charts, taking a look at the BAM indicator and talking about the blockchain news that I read this morning. And today, no family part because tonight, another episode of Gokstein Media, the Bitcoin family by Gokstein Media, is going live on the Gokstein Media channel. It will be a really cool episode up-to-date episode no flashbacks to last year or the year before just what we did this week and which things we are going through at the as a family today enjoy today's video guys bam Good morning guys, it is really early, it's now 7 o'clock here in Portugal, Lagos. I decided to start earlier in the morning, so because I'm running out of time, I don't have enough time to do everything at the moment, to be fat, the BAM indicator, the videos, living life, all of the stuff, the fund, helping poor people, so I need more time. I don't have enough hours. <laughs> the day needs to be longer than 24 hours because that is not reality. I decided I get up more early and I do my sports in the morning because I need to lose fat as well. Not only create B fat, but also lose some fat and I need to do some sports. So I get up at seven nowadays. I start to walk the beach, do some exercise, push-ups, you know, abs and all that stuff. After the exercise and the walking, I will record my video for you guys. And then I will go home, take a shower, edit the video, push it online, and start the rest of the day. That is at least what I'm going to try now. I'm also doubting between this, or maybe to make it a little bit more easy and less time pressury for me, I am going to record the videos later on the day. So when the most news is out, uh, also the, the most price movements have been happening. And then push the videos live every morning around six o'clock let me know down below in the comments what you prefer do you want to have the video early in the morning like with your cup of coffee around six or do you like it the way it is now that you have the video in the evenings because it takes a lot of time for editing and uploading here in portugal just let me know i'm going to do some sports now Let's start with the Bitcoin TA part, the part where I bomb you with really cool charts. Bam! Of course, the biggest question. Are we going to break 40k now or aren't we going to break 40k? By the way, do you love my BAM beanie? BAM! <laughs> you can get them in the store. Uh, on the BitcoinFamily.com there is a store, you can buy all that kind of stuff. The question is now, do we go to 40k or not? In my opinion, we will go to 40k. I see Bitcoin moving sideways already for a week now, between 30 and 35k. We just broke out and we reached 38k. Of course, we can see a small pullback, but then I think we will again start to break 40k. And I believe that we could even go all the way up to 44k, like you can see on this chart. Bam! What did I do on this chart? I took the fractal from the last time we made this sort of a cup and then we made a small handle and then we bumped up that part of bumping up from the 4th till the 8th of january i copied all those bars and i pasted them off of this big v-shape uh, dip we saw in bitcoin a few days ago and what you can see is that if we would repeat that fractal from the 4th till the 8th we would end up around 44,000 us dollar per bitcoin of course you can also see that we are not completely following this factor but we are going in the same steep climb up. 
and yes not exactly on the line but the angle of growth is the same so i think we could reach 44k at the end of this day or maybe tomorrow let's see how the markets wake up in the us when the markets wake up in china let's see if we can create volume to push bitcoin all the way up there and why do i think this guys because if you look at the bam chart this one bam you can see the same thing the bam indicator is around the level of 40 the white line and the white line just started to curl up this means that we can make the same move you can see to the left on the chart you can see we made a move from 35 to 70 and so that's about 35 points and it was a 3500 us dollar climb uh, which would do the calculations that is like 140 dollar per point now we are again around that 40 level if we would take the white line from 40 to 80 40 points we can see again a 4k move and if we will see a 4k move we will go from 38 to 42 and if we see a 5k move we will go to 43 so yes i think both these charts show me that we could take it all the way up to a new all-time high of 44,000 us dollar per bitcoin bam bam and bam <laughs> can you still see the sun the sun is coming up guys it's rising my face is completely dark now because the dji can't focus on my face and the sun and that's why i'm filming this way because then you still see a little bit of my face but that were all the 15 minute charts guys and like you know i like to zoom out so let's zoom out a little bit let's take a look at plan b again because plan b has three models and all those models predict a different price i think i need to do something on my uh, microphone give me a second because i think that you have too much waves on the back give me one second the solution that i have i use my face mask and i put the face mask on the mic like this and it stretches because i have this new selfie stick i can hook it there where you normally put the phone <laughs> that is my solution for the sound of the waves <laughs> but we were talking about the stock to flow model it has three models take a look at this chart and you will all understand what those three models are telling us this chart bam the original stock to flow model shows us that we could go to 55,000 us dollar per bitcoin the second updated to stock to flow model is showing us that we would take to we would take the bitcoin price all the way up to 100,000 us dollar per bitcoin and then the third model the stock to flow x model that one is telling us man we can even take it to 288,000 us dollar so there are three stock to flow models which stock to flow model do you think we are following at the moment you can see this orange line this is the price of bitcoin which line is closest to this orange line is it the 55k nah i think it is in between the 100k and the 288k so we are on track that is what plan b every time means when we are on track we could even still reach 288k and we are now overperforming the line of 100k so in my opinion yes we will see a bitcoin price of 100 to 288k like i already said it would be awesome if we would see a bitcoin price on the 21st of december 2021 and if you take those numbers you would get a bitcoin price of 211,202 something and 20 dollar cents a bitcoin price just the date converted into us dollars and you will have the bitcoin price in uh, the end of this year december which would be really funny because bitcoin will seem to always aim at funny things like a mooning bitcoin price around the full moon time maybe we'll see at the 21st of december 2021 a bitcoin price of these numbers but then pronounced in the right way that i know can't, that i can't do at the moment because i'm still tired from doing sports <laughs> the most important part of plan b guys is the point of no return and plan b just tweeted that we didn't reach the point of no return yet the point of no return you can see on this chart bam on this chart if you look very closely you can see these small red arrows and every time you see the red arrow in the 2013 and the 2017 bull run we make a small jump you can see a jump in the dots every dot is a month so that will is a jump from one month into the other one 
and it creates a small gap. Every time we see this small gap being created, this small jump, that is the point of no return. We didn't see this small jump yet in Bitcoin. We did see it in the other bull runs, and after we saw that small jump, then we saw the huge acceleration of the Bitcoin price. So now we need to wait till we see this small jump on Plan B's chart. The next dot could be the end of this month, because if we open the new month around 50k, for example, then we will see a small jump. Then we will see a small gap, which would then mean that if we jump to 50k, from that moment on, we will go in this huge acceleration all the way up to this new all-time high between 100 and 288k, which would also mean that if we see a correction that we have seen all the other bull runs of 85%, the huge correction, like from 20k to 3k, if we will see the next correction from 85%, that there is a huge chance we will never go below 40k again after this small jump. And I still need to see if we will never return below this level of 40k, but if you look at the other stock to flow model, this yellow line I showed you in the video two days ago, then normally this yellow line around 45k now should be the next bottom after the huge bull run. Because you can see in the past this yellow sideways line is always forming the new bottom of the next bull run. Could be really cool, but let's see. I love the Plan B chart. Plan B, time for a cup of coffee. Come to Portugal, have some sunshine with me. Yes, I'm just wearing this because it's really early in the morning and it's a little bit frio. Come have a coffee in Lagos, Portugal with me and let's talk about Plan B and C and D and E <laughs> for the next coming 10 years. Bam! Saying BAM so many times, let's take a look at the BAM profits we made yesterday. This chart, BAM. We traded with 200 US dollar with a leverage of 10 on Bybit again because I need to use the trailing stop loss. But to be honest, one trade, I forgot to put the trading stop loss. So again, there was one trade with loss for me yesterday. The first trade was a long with 43%. So we created from 200 dollar, 280 US dollar. Then the second trade, I made loss. I made a loss of around 12%. So 280 US dollar turned into 250 US dollar. You can see the reason why I weighed a loss because I didn't put a trailing stop loss. I should have put a trailing stop loss or a take profit target. I didn't. So the wick killed me and made me have a 12% loss. But luckily I was able to recover the loss because the third trade was a long of 80% which turned to 250 US dollar and 480 US dollar. So that was again a nice profit, started with $200, ended with $480 US dollar, just by trading three trades, of which one was a trade and loss. The BAM BAM indicator, you can see the moments we entered the trade, you can see the blue line crossing upwards on the green, the white, the red line, you can see the candles closing above the stepping line, you can see the blue sea and the beach turning into the hills, the green grass and the hills, triple confirmation, that we need to enter the trade and those moments I enter a trade and you can see on the charts it seems too beautiful to be true for all of you I understand this if you can just shut down your emotions and just look at the charts and the numbers and the signals and wait for the confirmation and then do the trade you will be making profits it's difficult but you will get there it will take some time to get used to the bam bam indicator to the bam bam trading style but when you get used you will be making profits and yes you can make some losses now and then but that doesn't matter because in the end you will make more profits than losses and that is what counts in the long term you need to be up your portfolio needs to grow bigger and bigger and bigger you need to get a b fat wallet a b fat bitcoin wallet uh, yes and talking about the b fat we are testing it more and more we are getting confident that we fixed the buy bit issue you know they changed their uh, trading uh, um, algorithm and I think the last couple of days we didn't make any shorts anymore in the, the BFAT. The BFAT was making profits, a few percent profit a day and I think we will go live this next Monday again. So yes, looking forward to finally launching the BFAT because the goal is that we can use the fees we get out of the BFAT to fill the fund that we will use to help poor people all over the world. Bam. Let's jump into the blockchain news part. The thing 
I read this morning during a delicious cup of coffee before I started to sport on the beach. This part, bam! First news, we now belong with the family to the Roll 100K Club. There are a few projects on Roll Social Money that reached the 100K liquidity. We reached a market cap of 100K. We are even close to 200K at the moment. So Roll yesterday announced the family grew tremendously in a month. We reached a 100K market cap. Thank you all family members for helping me pushing the Bitcoin family this big and we will grow bigger and bigger and bigger because at the end of this month again you will be rewarded for providing us of liquidity and yes you can take those rewards and exchange them you us dollar tether or DAI or PAX or even ethereum or whatever currency but you can also use those rewards again to stake more and get a new even bigger reward the month after that which would then easily create a huge market cap on of more than 200,000 US dollars for family tokens, which is amazing that we could grow this big in just two months times. I'm very thankful and we will show you the importance of being a family because we as a crypto community need to realize whatever currency you support, we are one huge big family. We are changing the world together. Whichever cryptocurrency you support, we are disrupting the monetary system, creating a new one on top of the blockchain, which will decentralize the world, which will make it possible for you and me to leave behind an amazing place for our children that is decentralized and where they live in freedom instead of slavery. That is the goal of the huge Bitcoin family. Bam! I also read something this morning about Ethereum second layer applications. I need to dig deeper in it, but it will make it possible. There will be thousands of Ethereum transactions per second. So it will become cheaper to do transactions on the Ethereum blockchain. Just like the Lightning Network is doing this for the Bitcoin blockchain. Now also second layer applications are being built on the Ethereum blockchain. So you can transact in a cheap way and not paying three euros in Ethereum per transaction because it should never cost so much to do a small transaction because then you can never use any currency built on Ethereum to pay for your cup of coffee if you need to pay a fee of $3. Same like Bitcoin, they are searching for solutions, second layer solutions to create cheaper fees, faster transactions and that all while keeping the whole blockchain secure. So yes, also Ethereum working very hard on second layer solutions. Did you read the news about eToro? eToro send a mail to all their users and um, be aware we don't have that much crypto anymore so we need to stop the option to buy cryptocurrency. This is what I refer to already for weeks and weeks as a supply crisis. There is just not enough crypto available for the demand that we have at the moment. eToro is now even shutting down the possibility to buy crypto because there is too much demand and they don't have enough available. They had 338,000 new signups since the beginning of this year. That is in 11 days. That is in 11 days, 338,000 new, new, new signups to eToro. Also Binance and all the other exchanges are experiencing huge amounts of new signups and they all want to buy crypto. There is only 21 million Bitcoins and there is only a few million of that coin and that coin and that coin. There is a shitload of demand and we don't have enough cryptos available, which will lead into a huge supply crisis. And especially when MicroStrategy, Grayscale, Mass Mutual, PayPal, all these huge players are buying up all the Bitcoins. Then there is no Bitcoin left for the rest of the market. And you will see more and more exchanges putting a stop on buy orders because they don't have any crypto to sell anymore. This is a supply crisis. This will drive the price up even higher and higher and higher and higher and higher. Maybe as high as the sun there, it's already high, or the moon somewhere there. And the coolest news I read, of course, was that the Bitcoin lost its first place on the coin market cap just for a short period of time because there was another currency which was made a mistake, wrapped Bitcoin, WBTC, which is the, is the Bitcoin on Ethereum blockchain. So it's wrapped on Ethereum blockchain. That's why they call it wrapped Bitcoin. I told about this many times in other videos. So uh, check my videos on that uh, that I made already. But the wrapped Bitcoin market cap 
suddenly jumped to 430 quadrillion US dollar. So red Bitcoin was number one for a few minutes on coin market cap. Coin market cap, of course, discovered this mistake and they corrected it, of course, to the normal place. I think uh, Red BTC is on the 13th or 14th place on the coin market cap, and Bitcoin again became number one. Uh, very funny, but very cool to see that uh, yes, coin market cap can support it when Bitcoin gets a market cap of 400 quadrillion US dollar in the far future. I don't think that is possible. I don't even know how to pronounce it. I don't even know how many numbers it is. Maybe you can comment down below how many numbers, how many zeros are there in a quadrillion US dollar? I really wouldn't know. Sorry, guys. I This is too early maybe for me or it's a too big number. I don't know. Either way, comment down below how many zeros are in a quadrillion. Maybe I will give a t-shirt to the one that gives the right answer. Bam! But that was everything for today, guys. I hope you really enjoyed the video. If you did enjoy the video, give it a thumbs up, subscribe to the channel, share it with your friends and family, hit the notification bell, and please leave a comment as I love to respond to your comments. And yes, also comment down below. Would you prefer to see these videos early in the morning? Because then I will start to record these videos during the day and then edit them and upload them in the morning at 6 or something uh, in Portugal time so that we be like 7 in the rest of Europe. I want to thank you for watching this video today again. Please always remember to zoom out in Bitcoin and to zoom in at life. Try to enjoy every single minute of the day as that is exactly what life should be about. Thanks for watching and hopefully see you tomorrow again zooming out and showing you this beautiful sun. It's now coming up in Lagos, Portugal.